Welcome to Jank Play TCG. My name's Landon, and here we play Jank. And uh, I have the AC on again. It's hot today. Uh, but King Gambit is being played today. It's our last day of King Gambit. I'm really hoping we can go off on a win here. Uh, yeah, last game was a quick one. So, you know, I, I kind of want this one to go to, like, the full conclusion. But we'll see what happens, right? I just want the deck to perform well for my videos. Win or lose, if the deck is functioning, it's a good video to watch, right? So, our opponent wins the coin flip, so they'll probably go first. Yep. Which, it, it kind of hurts us because we want evolution, but it also kind of helps us because we started with Spinda. There we go. That's what I wanted. Spinda! Spinda's going into the active. Done. We got Nest Ball, we got Radiant Alakazam, we are ready to go. Looks like it's against Solrock Lunatone, which is going to be kind of a tough matchup. Um, we're really not, it's only Mewtwo that we will be focusing on for the four damage counters. Everyone else, we need to just one shot without the four damage counters, and that's going to be tough. Uh, if we're lucky, maybe we can get a couple Spindas going, uh, the attack going and maybe that will result in something but right now it just doesn't look too good for us we're gonna nest ball here and grab ourselves a pawn yard done because we got the bisharp ready to attack with if necessary uh we'll play down radiant alakazam vengeful punch the spinda and metal energy on spinda then spinda's gonna spin dizzing spin here we're going to deal 10 damage to everyone and confuse mewtwo now most likely they're going to get the v max and evolve up removing the confusion and then attack and ko spin up but then that vengeful punch will actually come in handy and get the damage we need yep there's the v max now they just need a energy one energy which they just discard to draw two cards so they most likely have another energy right so they got Soul Rock, which can add more energy to the Lunatone. And another Soul Rock here. But they've only got the one energy. Yep, there's the Soul Rock. Anything else going on here? Are they missing it? Boss's orders. This could be to slow me down. Definitely to slow me down. Interesting stuff that they have going on here. Oh, no, they're just KOing the Radiant Alakazam to remove my ability of moving damage counters around. It also gets them around the uh, punch. So, yeah, interesting, interesting stuff here. So we are going to put Spinda back into the active. Oh, okay. Yeah, Spinda back into the active here. Let's see. What do we top deck, right? capturing aroma so we're gonna play that down hopefully we get tails we get heads no that's that's kind of bad for us i can grab a king a bit all right i'm gonna grab a king a bit uh evolve up the bisharp luminous energy and we're just gonna dizzying spin get more damage counters out on the field confuse the mewtwo now they are able to retreat the mewtwo accelerate two energy due to the soul rocks and then attach a third to the lunatone and then the lunatone can obviously one shot the spinda and it won't even have to worry about being ko'd by the fist so that's probably their plan and i don't blame them it's a good plan oh they don't have the energy do they get the energy with these four cards? I sure as heck hope not. That's the first time I've seen uh, Barisis. Barisis? Uh, seeing play, ever. Fog Crystal. So they do have the energy, because they can grab an energy with that, attach it to the Loon Tone, and they are good to go. Now, if they do that, I do just have to Vengeful Cut to KO. That's pretty easy for me. So, no, they're concealing cards there discarding an energy drawing two did they do they have the energy <clears throat> there's a way to play this out to keep me guessing and it seems like that's what they're doing 
they're also taking a while to figure out things. Um, no, they're flipping for confusion, and it's Tails! Yes! Tails never fails! Beautiful! And we get a Professor's Research top deck. Gonna let us draw a whole bunch of new cards. Some really good ones, too. Gape Jaw Bog coming down. Pawnyard hitting the field. Putting two damage counters on them because Bisharp stuff. And I will go ahead. I think I'm going to Dizzying Spin. Although I could get the KO with King a bit. I'm going to just Dizzying Spin. Going to Dizzying Spin. Get more damage counters done here. Um, com you know, Mewtwo was already confused. So now my opponent ha has to retreat Mewtwo, right? Um, next turn, due to the way all of this is going to happen, I'm going to Clara to get back um, Radiant Alakazam and the Metal Energy from Spinda and Spinda and just everything I can. But Radiant Alakazam is going to allow me to be maneuvering with the numbers to end in my favor, you know? So, yep, there's 20 damage down to that, uh, to that Soul Rock. They have no way of preventing the bench damage currently. They're going to go ahead and retreat, put Lunatone in the active. They can easily, easily get enough energy onto this Lunatone to KO Spinda. Um, can they KO anything else? Let's see, 30 times, what was that, 5? So 150 plus 30, 180, that is enough to KO a King of it. Now, do they have the boss's orders? That would be my next question. No, they played Clavel, didn't they? Clavel? Clavel? I don't know how you say his name. They played him, so they can't boss his orders. So they have to KO the Spinda, taking 40 damage. Lunatone's going to be at 70 damage. Man. I, I so wish I could... Um, I, I could attack with Spinda some more. Because Spinda could just put in all the work, right? <laughs> But sadly, I can't do that. It doesn't work that way. Um, we are going to go ahead and Clara. We're going to grab ourselves Radiant, Spinda, and a Metal Energy. As I said before, we got a Nest Ball. This Nest Ball is going to be to grab a Pawn Yard. And our bench is going to be full after I bench these two. I'm going to wait on evolving up the Pawn Yard. Since I have one without damage, I want that one to evolve up. I don't want the damaged one to. Because if I can Bisharp for 90 exactly that's going to be so much easier to handle in the future right um so let me just go ahead painful spoons i'm going to take some damage off the lunatone and put it onto the soul rock i think because i am going to strike down on the king of it um i don't i kind of don't even want to play the energy because you know next turn if they ko king Gambit, what do i do right so yeah, we're just going to strike down. We're going to save that energy so next turn we can make decisions ourselves on what's going on on the field. So one. One prize card. We're not winning the prize race currently. We're actually behind on prizes because it KO'd, uh, what was it? Radiant and Spinda. That's what it was. Um, so let's see. I don't, they could Raihan with the Mewtwo. There it is. They're going to Raihan with the Mewtwo, get two energy, and then KO it. KO the King Gambit, which is going to bother me. <laughs> Man, it just bugs me, right? <laughs> All right, so I am going to go the Spinda route because we want that confusion on the Mewtwo. I could go Arvin, I could grab. Um, let's see, what can I grab with that Arvin? I want a punch. I want Pidgeot. If I can get Pidgeot, I have the rare candy. If I can get Pidgeot, although I could also Arvin for an Ultra Ball, go King of it, and get a two prize knockout on Mewtwo, tie up the prizes? Oof, I'm liking that plan a little bit too much. I think that's going to be our plan. <sighs> this is going to be hot. Yeah, they're going to charge up this Lunatone. Lunatone will easily KO King a bit next turn, but this turn is the one I'm focused on. They could also retreat the Mewtwo into the Lunatone. Have the Lunatone get the KO? No, it doesn't have enough energy. Okay, I am, I am hoping that they 
attack with the Mewtwo, discarding the energy off Lunatone, and then um, I can KO the Mewtwo. Because if they discard the energy on the Lunatone, oh, they only need to discard two. That won't that won't actually win it for me. They'll they'll have plenty of energy to um, accelerate and attach and get to the 180 damage. Yeah, they only need to discard two. So I am actually going to go the Ponyard route. We're going to put Ponyard into the active here. We're going to Ultra Ball after the Arvin. Mimic you. Not useful currently, so we're going to grab an Ultra Ball and a Vengeful Punch. Vengeful Punch will be useful. Watch it. Um, Ultra Ball away the two Bisharps. Or the Mimic... No, the Bisharp and the Mimic you. Save this other Bisharp. I'm going to evolve the damaged Ponyard. Ah, this is going to work. This is going to work. Watch. There's the Bisharp. The Vengeful Punch. And the Metal Energy. Then I'm going to move... Painful Spoons. Move 20 damage off the Mewtwo. Onto another Soul Rock, I think. And then we're going to strike down, take two prizes. We'll end up tied on the prize race. But then their Lunatone will KO King a bit. They'll be ahead. Oh no, I should have. I'll do it next turn. I'll do it next turn. There was something else I should have done. I should have put 20 damage on the Lunatone. They're going to take 40 from knocking out the King a bit. That's going to put them up to 60. I can move 20 with a Radiant Alakazam onto the Lunatone so it has 10 left and then I can Spinda and clean up. Although I do need an energy. Oh no, I need an energy. Come on. Heart of the cards. We're going to top deck an energy, right? Or top deck some draw so we can draw into an energy. But we've got this, right? Gape Jaw Bog, 20 damage. Yes. J Gape Jaw Bog really putting in the work against this deck. Come on. Come on. Concealed cards. A card I wish I could fit in here, but uh, Radiant Alakazam is just too valuable. Great Ball. Oof, they whiff. They got a nine card hand, probably not that important for them. Plus, they don't have any bench space and no evolutions to play. Probably not a big deal for them. Raihan coming in. How much energy do they have? Seven. Okay. Yeah, and then you accelerate. Okay, maybe it was more of they didn't have an energy to attach from hand. Now they do. They should attach it to their benched Lunatone. Or they can attach it wherever, but they gotta get to the point where Lunatone in the active has five and one on the benched one. And this is the slow process of clicking on each soul rock to accelerate all this energy. I forgot my drink. Dang it. That's okay. That's okay. This is my last match of this deck. Then I'm going to immediately record next week's uh, videos because next week will be my first week of school and I just want it to be kind of relaxing. Um, Bog Crystal. Okay. Another Fog Crystal. Okay. Lots of Fog Crystals. What is going on? Okay, come on. Top deck an energy. That's all I need. I just need one energy. I've got two in the discard, one special, one regular. Just one energy, please, please. Ponyard, no! Oh no! Oh no! This is not good. Oh man. All right, I gotta bench that one. Gonna pal pad some supporters back in, thanks to my prizes. Gonna be a Clara and a Professor's Research. Those two could really help right now. Um, and I'm just gonna move 10 damage from this soul rock onto the Lunatone. Done. And end my turn. Sad face. Sad face. I think this is it. I think we're done. I, I don't think we can do anything else 
Um, my best bet would be boss something up and uh, trap it there and then just spin the whole thing down. But it's a one retreat cost army. Like, there's, there's no one to trap, really. Uh, and I think... I think King, Gibbet, King Gambit is going to go down with a 2-2 record on the weekly videos. 2-2's not bad. Not bad. Um, definitely could have gone better for us. And definitely could have gone worse. Because I do feel like this deck is a hot mess. But it's a hot mess that works, right? Um, so, yeah. This is just not good for us. Ugh. Arg. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. I think I put up the Bisharp and I just attack. I could get two KOs, though. That That's fun. I can get two KOs. I cannot get more, but I can get two KOs. So, if they somehow do not have recovery... Oh, no. They can... They can definitely, yeah, okay. They're gonna switch, yeah. Okay. Okay. I can get two KOs. I can move 20 damage from a Pokemon onto the Lunatone. Then I can attack with Bisharp. Oh, I have to discard. I'm gonna discard Pidgey because Pidgey's useless right now. I'd have to pull top deck one, with one card, both Rare Candy and Pidgeot. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Unless it's like a professor's research and then I get to draw a bunch off of it. It's not gonna happen. But now it for sure won't happen because I had to discard. And I couldn't discard anything else. So, do they have their final Lunatone in their hand is a question. Or is it prized? And, energy? Gosh dang it. Okay, we have one more chance at an energy. Come on, don't fail me now. Soul Rock on a Lunatone. One prize card. One prize card. Will it be energy? Come on. Professor's Research, not bad. Not bad. Let's throw that down. There we go. Now we get the energy. Whew. Okay. Um, wait, what's in my hand? Let's go back. Uh... Binda, sure, why not? And we can do one energy and vengeful cut for 90. Now, all they have to do is 100. That's not hard. The hardest thing that they have to do is find their Lunatone. That's it. That's what they're struggling with right now. Or at least that's what I'm saying they're struggling with. If they don't have that Lunatone, then they lose. But I'm sure they do. Unless somehow it's prized, I'm sure they have Lunatone. Rescue Carrier, there they go. Yes, they have their answer. Now they just need an energy in hand in order to retreat. They have 11 in the discard pile. I'm pretty sure they fog crystal twice, like two turns ago. Pretty sure they have the energy. Um, they just need to retreat the Soul Rock. There's a Soul Rock, yep, yep, yep. They just need to retreat the Soul Rock and they're good. They're beautiful. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mm. It was a mistake for them to retreat the Lunatone, the 70 damaged one, and promote their other Lunatone and attack. They should have just attacked with the weaker one because it would have forced me. Yep, they've got the energy. They can accelerate four from the discard onto this one Lunatone, and they have victory. Whew. I needed them to miss way too much for how big their hand was. Um, an Iono maybe would have helped, but for sure uh, my opponent has victory here. Congrats to them. They deserve it. They got this victory very easily. Um, and uh, King Gambit will go down 2-2 record. Not that bad. Could have been better, but not that bad in my opinion. I don't even think they needed four. They only needed three because it's 30, 30, 30 plus 30. So yeah, that would have done it. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, 
thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone that watches these, especially the videos that uh, I lose because I know that's not exactly fun watching sometimes, but I still think it's informational and I try to make it fun. So I really appreciate absolutely everyone that sticks around and watches these videos. Um, go ahead and like it, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss next week's deck, which uh, I don't have a preview for here for you sadly wait it might be in this stack of cards i'm gonna keep going as long as i can keep talking and not make this boring but it is a particular pokemon that i think had a lot of promise and the deck i built around it is freaking nuts like if you thought king gambit was jank next week's deck it's already in the discord so you can always jump into the discord uh and find out what the deck is but next week's deck is um freaking nuts it's got so many evolution lines there it is found the card you guys are gonna see it here we go palafin palafin is next week's deck it is crazy. It is probably not going to work for a lot of people, but it works for me and my play style. Um, and I hope you check it out because it, it's so much fun. I'm testing it now, and it is so much fun. I don't have a name for the deck yet, but I will by the time the video goes out. So, yes, thank you so much for watching. And, of course, until next time, keep playing Jank.